Hey, it's your girl Chrissy. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all may know me as Alondra or Chrissy. Today is going to be a life update video. A lot has happened, okay? A lot has went on. I'm gonna pretty much do a whole recap of 2020 and also bring y'all into my new year and tell y'all where I stand now. So I may be a little rusty, I may be all over the place. I did have y'all ask me some questions on Instagram. So I'm gonna use some of those questions as like a little guide for me as well. For those of y'all that are new to my channel, y'all, my voice is a little raspy. I've literally been raspy for like two months. If being raspy is like a symptom of COVID, bitch, I got it. But um, I'm drinking this little rosé I got from Target and is actually nasty. I actually like rosés. I don't mind them. But this one is actually disgusting. But um, I guess that's what happens when you buy, you know, the wine based off the bottle. It's a very cute bottle. You know what, maybe that's a theme for this video. Cute on the outside, but deceiving on the inside. <laughs> Yeah, I just literally thought of that because that actually reminds me of. 2020 was one hell of a year. I thought it was my worst year. I thought 2020 was my worst year, but it really wasn't. I can't be mad securing the bag, okay? Let me start with the channel update so that for anyone new here can just hurry up, know what's going on with this channel and people who know me or want to know me and care and you know, all that y'all can watch the rest of the video. So basically the channel update, I'm doing like a rebranding of the channel. So I'm basically just gonna give more of a fuck. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna care more. I want to change my channel name. That's probably gonna be the most obvious change is that I'm changing it to Chrissy T. Only because I be having identity crisis, okay? My mom named me Alondra and she chose to give me a nickname based off of my middle name, Christian. And my whole life, I've been called Chrissy at home. Like, no one knows my name is Alondra when I'm not at work, okay? So it's like, the voice in my head is Chrissy. Like, when I'm having thoughts, it's me. Like, it's me, it's Chrissy. But when I introduce myself to people, like in the workplace or just in general in life, I don't give people my nickname because it's like, you're not my family. Like, it's only just like my family that knows me is that. So I'm like, oh, hi, I'm Alondra, you know, nice to meet you. And then when people get to know me, they're like, who is this person? It's like, no, I'm not a different person, bitch, you just don't know me. If you have a nickname, you know what I'm talking about. You know that it's like, especially if you have a nickname where only family calls you that. Like, if you just go by your nickname, then no, I mean, then that's just your name. But if you have like two different like personas or two different like names that you go by, like it just becomes really conflicting. And then especially like when I was coming up with my channel name, I don't mind my channel name being Alondra because I mean, no one, not a lot of people have that name. My name just wasn't flowing. Like my first and last name, it just, I don't want to have the white man last name as what I'm going by. I don't. My first name and my middle name, I tried that on my channel. I did Alondra Christian for one point in time. It doesn't flow. Nothing was flowing and Chrissy is how I really feel. Chrissy is who I is. It is me, I am her. So I was like, let me just go by my nickname. And then I don't like my last name because it's the white man's last name. So I just said T. So Chrissy T. And there it is, there it is there, here we are. Nice to meet you. I just pretty much wanted a whole different look for the channel. I just wanna be more personable, more, um, more myself. I mean, of course I've been that clearly on my channel. If y'all look at some of these videos, I've been too much of myself, okay? But I just wanna just be myself and be comfortable and be able to like have a channel name that like feels like me, you know, that just feels good. So yeah, that is gonna be my final name change because I mean, it is what it is at this point. Everything is gonna be Chrissy T, the real Chrissy T. The only thing I don't wanna change is my Twitter name because ugh, Twitter is like, Twitter is life, okay? Twitter is like my heartbeat. So I'm not changing my Twitter name because that is me. My Twitter name is I Run My Mouth. I'm honestly just blabbing right now because that has nothing to do with YouTube. But back to channel updates over here. Um, when it comes to posting on a schedule, I've learned I'm not gonna make no promises, okay? I'm not gonna even tell y'all Okay, I'm posting this day, this day. I'm not there yet. Just work with me, okay? Y'all accept these niggas for potential. Accept me for potential, okay? And potentially, I'm going to put out content, okay? So, potentially, 
Like, you stay with that nigga, stay with me. Overall, the goal is just to be more consistent. That's really all it is. I can't guarantee y'all, oh, I'm gonna do vlogs more. Oh, I'm gonna do trial. I can't just guarantee any specific content because I honestly do like all type of content. I love vlogs. I love try on hauls. I mean, I can't say I love makeup videos because I don't really do much to my makeup, but I do like doing my makeup. So as long as y'all find looking at me do my basic one, two, one, two, and maybe give y'all some words of wisdom while I do my makeup, I love that. I'm fine with that. I love smoke videos. Like, I like to smoke. Pretty much, I just wanna record me doing me. That's basically it. I actually wanna get into commentary videos, like quote unquote reaction videos. I think I may incorporate some commentary type videos, basically some gossip type shit. I'm always out of the loop with drama because I just, I, I really don't ever give a fuck. So I'm never on top of like current events and like current drama. If y'all want me to do stuff like that, send it to me and all that stuff, I can do it. Advice videos, y'all know what it is. All that shit, all that. I want all the smoke, okay? So that's pretty much all it is for the channel update. I mean, it's just a rebranding and just, you know, get to know me um, as Chrissy. It's the same person, it's me. But yeah, that's why I've just still been saying Alondra or Chrissy so that people can know it's the same bitch. Like, it's me. <laughs> Anyways, Happy New Year's, y'all. Happy New Year's. This is gonna be my first video of the new year of 2021. January 7th, I'm recording this video. Yes, my tree is up and is. I love my Christmas tree. I try to put it up earlier each year so I can have it down like sometime in January. But once I put it up, it's like, why do I need to take it down? It's a decorative piece, okay? So, she cute. Anyways, yes, my tree is up in January. Get over it. Some of y'all ain't even changed y'all draws. I'm about to go to the questions, the life update questions for me because I'm gonna use it as my template. I mean, I guess I could start with 2020 and do a whole recap of the year, but I had the same year. I think a lot of us had similar 2020 years. Like I was quarantined, I went through a breakup. I don't really feel like I could count that as a breakup because y'all, like, I don't know what it is whenever I'm like in a relationship. I'll feel like I'm in a relationship. I'll go, oh, I'm trying my hardest. I want this to work. But whenever we break up, it really doesn't count in my head because I feel like, well, if we broke up, it wasn't real. Like, it wasn't real love, so it don't count. I don't know, it's hard for me to think it's a breakup if it wasn't a relationship to begin with, if that makes sense. Okay, I found the questions, but I'm going to, I have, I'm, about to, I'm cooking some pizza because I'm drinking on an empty stomach. Y'all, I love to drink on an empty stomach when I'm at home. It gets me a little lit quicker. Let me put the pizza in the oven and then I'm gonna start these questions. Y'all know when y'all be trying to wear these shirts like this to be cute and you be wanting like that oversized look but it's like it's actually just not comfortable but you want to look cute but you're not comfortable. It's like just know I'm very uncomfortable right now but I'm trying to look cute. So is this video turning into a drink with me? <laughs> I don't fucking know where to start. Okay, I'm just gonna start running. I'm, see, I'm so, I'm overthinking everything. I wanna like go with the questions and flow, but fuck it, I'm just gonna read the first one and just go with it. What's not fulfilling you right now? Why and what are you doing about it? I actually do feel fulfilled right now. I'm joining a podcast. I'm excited because I am gonna have another platform where I can talk more candidly. I can be, you know, more uncensored and really just be myself. I mean, I'm not like a troll. I don't need to curse more. Like, I don't need any platform where I could just be more raunchy. It's not anything about that. It's more so I just don't wanna have to look over my shoulder with every word I say. And that's another life update. Um, that's something I'm really excited about. So y'all will be seeing, um, we're gonna be doing visu <laughs> visual. visual and audio. So y'all will see that coming soon. I'll have it linked. And I'm talking real soon, like this Saturday. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be in the loop. Um, I've already been on some other podcasts that I will have linked in this video description box. Because of that and because of me hopping back in front of this camera, because of me getting to the bag, like I really do feel more fulfilled. I feel good, I, I can't complain. I feel blessed. What I'm doing to stay fulfilled is just like, just keep working. Like just keep pouring into what's making me feel fulfilled. So if making YouTube videos makes me feel good, if showing up and doing podcast episodes make me feel good, I'm gonna keep doing it. Not every day will be a good day. You know, keep staying on track, just redirecting myself and just, I mean, I can't do nothing but keep moving. Next question, 
Did you stoop low this year in some way, action-wise, and how? To me, when someone says, did you stoop low, that means I stooped to somebody level. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't never stoop to nobody level. I be wanting to all the time, but I wouldn't be me if I did. I wouldn't be low key, like I wouldn't be this badass bitch if I stooped low, like real shit. One thing I pride myself on is being in control of thyself, okay? It is so unattractive and it's so sad to see people like just spiral out of control, to see people lose their temper, get out of character, re make regrets because somebody else did something to you. I could, I guess, do things back to people or go off on people or disrespect people if I felt disrespected. But it's like, that's what you do. You doing that because you hurt. I have love in me and I have love to give. So I don't need to stoop to your level because that's not what I do. I elevate. I elevate myself and people around me. So I don't stoop low. And once again, a plug for one of my other videos is how to grow. That video that I'm gonna plug is like, it's not on the surface, but it's like a little old. It's still relevant, but it's a little old. I'm gonna do a new video basically about, you know, just how to maintain your femininity. Cause I want to speak on femininity videos cause I see it's like trendy. But it's just, I'm just like, wanna tell, you know, women and girls like how to maintain, like in control of yourself. Can't nobody get me out of character because you can't. And that's how I show people like, how to be a bad bitch is by being one. Like how to be level-headed and all this shit and like slow to anger and being patient is by being that. Well, what Michelle, we do when they go low, we go high. Bitch, period. Like I'm stepping on I'm stepping on your neck. How I'm going how I'm going to step on necks if I'm on the ground with you? It it's impossible. So no. How has life been during this pandemic? Seriously. Parentheses, seriously. So y'all know what that means. That means, look, cut the bullshit. Cut, cut that cute act. How has life been during the pandemic? Seriously. I hate that I'm still talking about the pandemic and this is my 2020 video, 2021 video. I've been going through shit all 2020, so I haven't had time to get on here and do a video. So I hate that it's the new year and we still so much talking about 2020, but it is what it is. This like the 08 recession. Like, it is what it is. Like, we went through a major year like a pandemic so it's going to be talked about for a little while just being real the main thing that hit me during the pandemic was my breakup because it is what it is like even if it wasn't a real breakup to me because it wasn't a real relationship either way it was still a habit being broken it was still i'm used to talking to somebody every day i'm used to being with this person every day i'm used to the mistreatment i'm used to thinking it was good when it wasn't like whatever it was it was something that stopped and it hit me majorly. Like, you know, um, no pun intended. We'll talk about that later. So my breakup was um, April, April 20th, 420. I just wanted to get high. I wanted to like smoke, like just let's just smoke out and get high as fuck that day. But things went left as usual, as they always did. So that happened in April. That was pretty much the beginning of the pandemic. I mean, the pandemic for me started in March because I'm a bartender. So literally March is when like bars got shut down in Houston. We broke up April. Then I went through the, pretty much the whole pandemic because I didn't start working until like November. Like I didn't start working until like October. So I was unemployed for seven months. Breakup was hard because I was just motherfucking confused. I was just hurt. I was hurt and broke, confused, damaged, all that bullshit. Left weak, left drained, left empty, like really bad, in a bad shape. So going through the first few months of the pandemic was hard for me because I was sad as fuck, I was hurt as fuck. Um, I didn't wanna be in my apartment. Like I just stayed at my mom's like for as long as I could. I was never in my apartment. I was like, come in here, get some clothes, leave. Maybe take a shower and leave, but I was never here. I feel like it was so long ago. It's like I'm trying to remember how it was. A lot of just feeling alone, a lot of crying. Um, I was actually happy, <laughs> even though I was sad, I was happy that I was in the pandemic because I hate having to go to work and put on a smile when I'm so sad on the inside. 
So I was like, oh, cool. I could be sad at home. Like, yes, my favorite. So let me check on this pizza though, low key, because um, I'm not gonna burn my pizza talking about this nigga. That's one thing I'm not gonna do. Hold on. The first part of the pandemic was me just going through regular part of like a breakup, going through the motions of a breakup. I mean, even though I was sad about that, <laughs> A bitch was still getting unemployment, okay? I was still getting unemployment. At the time, unemployment was more than I was even making beforehand. So I was like, mm. I was like, okay, I'm sad, but I'm gonna cry eating these crab legs, okay? I'm gonna cry booking this plane ticket. You know, it had its ups and downs. That's why I said, honestly, low key, y'all, I hate that people really lost their lives. People, families really, like, I do hate the bad part of it, but at the same time, I had a different experience. So my experience was, yes, I went through a bad part of like a little breakup, crying, feeling like, you know, I really went through like a whole awakening. Like, so when, that was my first toxic relationship. I never experienced like a toxic person before. So it was a different type of hurt, which I'm gonna do a separate video about that. Um, I mean, I guess I will. Everything's still secure. That's all I care about is making sure I have a report for my head, making sure I'm good because I live in the real world and love don't pay the bills. Heartache don't pay the bills either. At the end of the day, I'm still blessed. You just look at things differently. It's like, you know what? I'm over here crying over a nigga when it's people who don't got food on the table. Everything, mental issues, and all that stuff is still important. But at the end of the day, my physical is good. Everything's okay. So I was okay. After going through the breakup or whatever, my birthday came, my birthday month was amazing. I received a lot of love. I'm happy that happened because my birthdays, you know, I want I want love on my birthday. Like, who the fuck doesn't? Um, I did record and vlog in Miami. Once again, I was still like up and down on mood swings. I was busy trying to start back working by October, but after my birthday. So I still have the, that footage. I just haven't posted it because now it's just so like outdated. It's no need to post it. Oh, another thing I went through during this pandemic, like with the seriously parentheses, like I told y'all in my birth, in my get ready with me, the birthday edition, um, I talked about how I like lost some friends and that was something, I mean, it happened during 2020. It was something major. They, I lost two of my best friends. I mean, like I said, I think in that video, the way I feel about it is I always care. I care about people that are my fucking friends. Like if I say you're my friend, of course I care. It hurts, but at the end of the day, it's like, I mean, life goes on. So it's like, you know, things hurt and life just goes on. And that's one lesson that I really learned during 2020 was to honestly let things go. Let things come and let things go. If you meet somebody, if you meet a dude and you think you like him, and he's showing red flags or he, it, it ended up not working. Let it come, let it go. Um, I started by working in October. I'm a bartender. I'm going to do a separate video about that because I actually want to like, I actually have some videos I want to do about like the little bartender life. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. I don't want to like stick, stay on that question too much long, too long because that's a long, like that could be a long ass answer. It's a whole year, you know? Are you taken? That is one question. Are you taken? I told y'all to give me serious questions. No, I'm not taken. But that's the thing, taken. I don't think I like that word. You're just gonna take me? What you gonna do with me? What you trying to do with me though? Am I taken care of? Ask me, nigga, am I being taken care of? Don't say, are you taken? Are you taken care of? Are you spoken for? Like, come at me like that. What, what taking me? I'm tired of being taken. I wanna be kept, okay? Okay, <laughs> this question. Who was the last person you fucked in your mind? and tell us the scenario. I, I don't like have sex with people in my mind. I don't like see a celebrity or see an Instagram person or see a person on the street <clears throat> and like fantasize about things. But I do replay sex experiences in my head. If I was to say, I mean, last person I replayed in my mind was the last one. <laughs> What's stopping you from your passion in life? Um, me. Hello. <laughs> that's the old me. That's 2020, new year, new me, okay? But seriously, what has always stopped me from my passion has been me. Um, whether it's been circumstances in my life, like whether it's been like legit going through stuff, legit having to work or whatever, it's still ultimately me. Like it's ultimately my fault, like, you know? I still try to post videos. I still try to do podcasts. 
I still try to do any of my hobbies that I like because that's what I like. I mean, that's like if you like playing basketball, just because you didn't make it as a professional basketball player don't mean you all of a sudden don't ever play basketball at the gym. You like doing that, it's your hobby. So you're gonna do it regardless. I've always like tried to keep my passion like even on the back burner because it's something that fulfills me, it's something that makes me happy. So it's not gonna go anywhere. I've been having to learn how to prioritize my time and be willing to do it and be willing to sacrifice my social life and you know, X, Y, and Z, what it takes to be successful. Have you did any self-reflection during lockdown? Yes, a lot of, majority of my lockdown and quarantine last year was spent in reflection. So shout outs to my friends and family, like my mom, um, the friends that stuck with me through quarantine, um, the friends that were there for their time that they were there. Like everyone helped me through quarantine, like, and I needed that. If there was never a time where I needed people, it was through quarantine. And everyone showed up for me, so I can appreciate that. And I, appre I appreciate that. It was, everything helped me. I did a lot of self-reflection, but it was a lot of my circle that kept holding me up. Have you learned anything from COVID? Um, I've learned that, I mean, I already knew this, but you know, all of us are equal. We're all humans. It don't matter how much money you make. It don't matter anything. We all can get hit by this shit. Um, we all can be affected. I did end up learning something. It's actually funny, when I first did one of my videos, my um, get ready with me during quarantine, and I was like, y'all talking about going through quarantine, like y'all need to change, like what do you have to change? Like, it ain't about to be no learning experience. Y'all, why quarantine slapped the fuck out of me? And I was like, bitch, it is a learning experience. What have you learned through COVID that you would share with your younger self? Um, I guess I would say, like I've already said, follow your intuition. That's another thing I learned during COVID was to listen to my gut. Let my body lead me. We are all energy. And I learned, you know when something don't feel right. Even if you stupid, your body, that inside energy, God is going to tell you the truth. I've learned that your gut, I mean, I've already known that, but I learned it. You know, like I really learned like your gut is not lying to you. Just really ask your body. Like when you're confused about things, I had to make decisions, whether it's moving, whether it's people. If I don't really know the answer, yes, you pray, whatever you know, you whatever you do, pray. If you that's how you get your answers. If you get your answers through your dreams, I'm a vivid dreamer. I get a lot of answers through my dreams. I've learned to listen, to be aware of those signs. If my dream is telling me something, just listen to it. Just, just play it out. You don't gotta believe it. Some things you could throw away, but some things you listen to. So I just learned to really follow my body, like follow my guts and my instinct and my intuition and listen to it. Next one, I hope this video ain't gonna be long, but it might be long, but it's okay. I ain't been here in a minute. So, you know what, we're gonna do this right now. If you're still watching this video right now, that means you a real OG. You fuck with me. Something about me you like, and I can respect that. So that's probably me, I like you too. If you're watching this video right now, drop, you know what, drop the champagne cheers emoji where i know who you are and um that's gonna be our little secret any regrets the past five years i'll tell y'all a funny stupid regret like i have stupid regrets okay like i have regrets like dang i should have bought that jacket why didn't you buy it you was being cheap you should have bought it like dang why didn't you go on that trip you was being cheap you should have bought it why'd you shave your happy trail now your hair grow back thick as fuck like i have regrets like that i don't really have regrets when it comes to life because I, I'm i I'm just going with the flow. Don't nobody know how to do this? It is what it is. We all repeating. You know, history's repeating itself. I'm doing the same mistakes you done did. You do what I done did. I, I done did what your mama did. You, we all doing the same thing. Shared experiences here. So I don't really have any regrets because shit ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing been done new. What's one area you would like advice in? That's a good question. One area I would like advice in is also one thing I'm going to do this year which is seek mentorship. I don't want advice in love anymore. I don't want advice in relationships. I don't know if there's like a rule book that there's really not a rule book to anything. But what I do want to focus on more and actually have advice in is how to get to this bag. It's be more business driven, just overall 
where the money resides. Mold me, brand me, position me, push me, all of that. I want more advice in how to be successful. I'm good with money, so it's not like I'm not good with money, but how to make more money, how to keep more money, how to just overall like get to money, like get to the bag, like not in like a superficial way, but in like a real way, like how to get my future in line and in order. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the questions there. I just wanted to have a few questions just to kind of direct me a little bit in this life update. I don't wanna make this video too long because I already know it's probably long and I really do have a lot more I could go into because it's so much I wanna do, but I'm just gonna make them separate videos. Hopefully y'all stay tuned, keep supporting me. Alondra or Chrissy know that I'm not going anywhere <laughs> so hopefully y'all will still be here too make sure when you subscribe you hit the notification bell because y'all know this algorithm ain't set up for black people <laughs> the algorithm probably ain't for inconsistent people but y'all know what it is it ain't for black people anyways I will catch y'all in my next video and um yeah see y'all later bye y'all